Namaste, I am Dr. Meera Raghavan, consultant urogynecologist and robotic surgeon from Apollo Hospitals, Chennai. Bladder or bowel uh, can have a lot of issues with regards to control. So when I see these kind of patients, I generally ask them the questions whether they are able to control the urination, whether they experience any accidental leakage of either urine or bowel contents when they are not able to control. And that can be quite embarrassing and can have significant impact on their quality of life as well as their uh, social adaptation. Uh, capacity as well. If we take urinary incontinence, I deal with a lot of women where this problem is quite rampant, yet many people do not come forward voluntarily. They can either have urgency related leakage or incontinence, which is due to a bladder muscle being overactive, and they classically experience frequent visits to the washroom, urgent feeling to use the washroom, and associated with leaks at the same time, and frequent night visits to the washroom as well. The first thing I insist on all these patients having are lifestyle modification and weight optimization is the first and the foremost because we know even a 5% loss of weight from the original weight where we start with could influence the amount of benefit they can have. Smoking cessation and quitting cigarettes and smoke is also important for the management of incontinence. We have an array of medications which we can give out to these patients and they do uh, respond significantly well. However, the limitations to those continuation of medications would be something like a dry mouth, distaste, constipation, without which patient will not be comfortable continuing the medication. Conventional treatments become ineffective when appropriate lifestyle modifications are not taken on board. The second thing is when I add certain medicines, they can have significant side effects. So there is a limitation at which we cannot do much about the medication and we will have to resort to certain interventions which could make the quality of life better. There are a subset of patients who will definitely benefit with sacral neural modulation. First of all, what is sacral neural modulation? It is like creating a pacemaker system to make the bladder empty by contracting well or contracting in a coordinated fashion so that the certain become overactive and cause embarrassing accidental leakage. So it's like our FM radio where we tune onto one bandwidth, there is a pickup of one radio station and another bandwidth and you pick up another radio station. So the same pacemaker can be tuned effectively to either control the bladder contraction or make the bladder contract better. And then subsequently, after a test phase, if everything works well, we put in the permanent pacemaker. So to give it in very simple terms, I'm basically providing a base pacemaker for the bladder to work better. Either way, to stop overactivity or to make it effectively empty the urine. So this is what sacral neural modulation does. Patients with incontinence which is not responding to medications and conservative therapy, patients with difficulty in emptying the bladder, with especially upper tract involvement and kidney issues, patients with fecal incontinence or incontinence of bowel which is not responding well to conservative measures are good candidates who will respond very well to sacral neuromodulation. It's a pacemaker which is permanently placed and can work for nearly seven to 10 years. It is important for us to understand the quality of life of these patients and the significant impact these issues can have on one's daily routine to be able to offer them this treatment so they can have independent, 
better lifestyle like any of us and not be tied to a bag and a catheter.